<sighs> Golly. Well, I fixed a couple things on the boat. Uh, I got the switch working now, the the live wheel switch. Well, I think I got it working. Still a little tight, but I put a little stuff I use in my reels. This uh, Lucas reel, put a little bit down there. It's, it's pretty much a bike cable. It goes to the back that I showed y'all yesterday. So I think I got that fixed. I'm hoping. Um, yeah, I don't know. So that's going to be a test and trial and error. Um, I fixed the trailer pad that was fixed the trailer pad. So it's fixed now. If y'all can see that down there, put a lot of screws in there this time. So, and then mom wanted a seat to match the rest of the seats. Like how they're gray and light gray. So I fixed that for her, got her a new seat there for the back. She likes sitting down when she fishes. And last but not least so far is, remember how I told you guys I was gonna change it to that? Got that done. So yeah, it ain't took me very long. I've been up here missing about, I don't know, half hour or so, I guess. I'm gonna get up in the boat and see my buddy Josh today was talking to me at lunch and was like, hey, I don't know how your boat is, but my live well has an on and off switch inside of it because I'm still trying to figure out how in the world this thing is spitting water out of the bilge when it should be spitting water into this front live well. So I'm gonna jump up in the boat and look and see if I can find anything. Nothing important about this video, just wanted to show you guys that I did that stuff today. Um, I also tell everybody thanks for all the love and the likes and subscribes. I uh, appreciate it. Um, I know it's not a bunch and you know, I don't expect is this thing to grow overnight or anything, but I think we're up to like 17 subscribers. So it's pretty cool. You know, means I got 17 people interested in what I'm doing, but I do appreciate everybody. Um, if you got anything you wanted to tell me or show me or want me to work on for you or show you, like I said, on all the videos, I'll do it. Uh, but yeah, so now I gotta figure out these aerators. I'm really gonna try to go to lake this week sometime. I was almost tempted to call in sick today because it's pretty nice outside. But but yeah, I gotta get the boat back together. Um, I found another club. I'm thinking about fishing. Um, I think it's Lip Rippers Tour. Yeah, Lip Ripper Tour. I talked to a guy on Facebook the other day about that and, uh, they seem like they have a lot more tournaments than what I'm currently fishing, but it would be a good club to fish in between the club I'm fishing now. Cause like I said, I ultimately want to be in the lake as much as I can, you know, given the capabilities of being able to do that. But you can't get any better if you don't get out there and practice and, you know, grind it. And, um, I don't, I don't want no free time. You know, I like the free time, the free time I do get, I spend with my family, my daughter, my mom, my brother. Uh, but when it's my time, uh, instead of sitting at the house, I'm usually up here working on the boat or if I am at the house, I'm watching some videos trying to learn up on stuff that I don't have very good knowledge in yet or not very confident in. So yeah, that's the plan. Be on the water as much as I can. So hang on and I'm gonna get up in the boat. So something else, I don't know if I know I showed you guys the steps, but um, I'm actually gonna try to go up and hold my phone without breaking my neck here. So yeah, see, that's pretty nice. Save the berries, you know. What's that song? Save the or t-shirt. Save the tatas. That thing is saving my berries. I think I might get a sticker from a side that says "Berry Saver" uh, or "Giblet Saver" or I don't know. But yeah, that's a lot better. So yeah, I'm gonna dig up in this live well here. I'm trying to find. Of course, this thing wants to be a pain in my bird. Here we go. I'm trying to see. I can't really feel anything in there. Now there's no on and off switch of this thing. Hmm. Nope. Purely open. So, 
yeah, I gotta get this figured out because this is the bigger live well of the two, and like I said, we caught them fish Saturday, and of course they were two spots, they weren't real big. Two fish, 1.96 pounds, but you know, we're getting close to the spawn, or we're in the pre-spawn, I guess you'd say, but you know, hopefully it means bigger fish right now. We could be possibly catching, we, like yesterday or Saturday, you know, they're, they're, you know, given the conditions, it was very unlikely, but you never know, and I mean, if I'd have caught a five, five and a half pounder, I mean, that would have been, it wouldn't have been good to stick that fish with those two spots in that little live well back there. It just wasn't going to work good. So this is the bigger live well, and I need to get this thing working right. So, yeah, figure it out. I don't know if you guys ever use these. Uh, I just got these this year, Cal Costa colon clips. Man, I love them. I mean, it's easier on the fish. Uh, instead of popping a hole in their mouth, I don't mean I know some people say that's not good on them. I, I don't know. I'm not a biologist, but or a biologist. But these things are pretty simple. I used them Saturday. You know, if you want to open it, you just put your thumb in there, press it, clicks open. So yeah, come this sweet little. Like I said, this boat ain't no mega boat or nothing, but I mean it does the, does what it needs to do when it wants to do right. I know the other day it didn't want to do right. Had me upset. Had me mad enough where I was like, man, I know that bank said I had 30 days. So I might be giving Oedis a call. That's how I felt Saturday. But, yeah. So, I guess this is, uh, what do they say? Break out another thousand. Ain't that what boat stands for? I can't say nothing bad about this boat for real. I mean, it's been a good boat. My dad first got, you know, it, it was some issues with it, but other than that, man, it's been a good boat and it runs good. Um, so yeah, it's old. You gotta love on it. Went and got me some more Rage Menaces, black and blue. And I also got some white ones, which I've already put those up. I'm not gonna dig them back out, but I figure since we're getting close to the fish getting up there making beds, um, if the water would ever get clear enough to where you could sight fish, then those would come in handy. But I bought them because uh, Academy right now in E-Town, they're having 25% off of anything Strike King. All Strike King products. If you live in E-Town or around the area where you're close to an Academy, I don't know if all Academies are doing it, but the Academy in E-Town is doing it. If uh, you go in there, you get 25% off of all Strike King products. So, yeah, I picked up a few more Rage Menaces, black and blue, and because I, I got a tournament, if I fish this club, this uh, Lip Rippers Club, they got a tournament the 31st of March, and the water's still probably gonna be muddy. So I was getting low on those. So I got some more of those. But yeah, I don't know what else to tell you guys. That's about it. I just wanted to show you that stuff that I know I changed it, and I changed it again, but I got the one on the front of the bow now. I want it. I also bought a little, what do they call this thing? Mega Wear Scuff Buster. They had these on sale at Cabela's for like eight bucks. And I was like, hey man, you know, shit. It's all about, you know, keep the boat from getting all jacked up when you're putting on the trailer. I know sometimes I hit that thing kind of hard. I don't mean to, but it maybe be a little bit of guard. Plus it kind of dressed it up a little bit in the front. So yeah, um, there's nothing else I can really do. I've followed the tubes to the aerators and I think I've got those Everything seems right. There are, the lines are running right. The aerator that pumps this one, the hose is not going to that bilge hole. I don't know what the heck. I don't know if there was something finicky going around my switches or... I don't know. But I can't test it without it being in the water. So, positive thing is, I got that put on. I think I have the live well shut off fixed. If I don't, what I'm going to do is I'm going to buy a plug. And I guess I want to plug them. Instead of having the handy capabilities of flipping that switch... I'm just gonna buy a little plug to stick in there and plug the live wells up and just do what I gotta do for what I got right now. So, um, but yeah, so I'm gonna continue to work on that. Like I said, I appreciate everybody that it has subscribed. Um, if you have anything you'd like for me to show you, drop it in the comments. If you have something, a tip you could do to help me. Like I said, I'm always learning, so drop it in the comments. So yeah, I do appreciate everybody. This is new, new to me, so. I promise eventually I will get a GoPro. What the whole thing is with the camera thing is it's not so much the GoPro thing. It's like I said last time, it's 
it's the editing editing software i've looked at some of them they're probably easy as heck to use i'm just this seems so simple just using your phone i know it's not the best videos but if this thing grows and people are interested in it and they like what i'm putting out then i'll i'll go the next step and get stuff but you know boy is bond on the budget so yeah still ain't figured out what i want to do like david dudley thing or the scott martin thing or i don't know so i'll just holler at you guys later peace out